Now, according to police, Edward was driving to Entebbe along the Entebbe Expressway and was about to exit at Impala Toll Station when he suddenly lost control of his vehicle. <laughs> May his soul rest in peace. And uh, it was really a tough time, very hard. Uh, I had never felt that such a pinch, but uh, it happened. And it was a very difficult m moment for each and everyone at NTV. Very hard time. I remember that morning, everyone was puzzled. We usually have morning meetings, but I think that day, I don't remember having, a, we didn't have a morning meeting. I mean, it was not necessary at that time. Even those that were working on the news, as well, everyone was moody, you know, at office. That was the mood. Everyone was not happy. Ever. Everything was totally different. And so I just kept on telling my colleagues, well, just have... I'm imagining, feel sorry for me who has to break the news on air. I'm wondering how it's going to be, you know? And they said, they'll be, you'll be fine. So I just kept on telling myself, if I have to cry, I think I should let out the burden now before I get on set because the emotions could easily betray me, you know? Because even, you know, when they kept on playing the videos, when you kept on watching him on social media, you'd feel, you know, You'd feel touched, you'd feel so sad, you'd feel all the kinds of emotions. So when I got on set and guess what, first two stories were for Edward, in honor of Edward. So um, I read the first story, the pictures run. Now that's where the issue. Now when the story was running, I had already broken down. It was running and I was crying, seriously crying. And my directors were telling, telling me, be calm, please be calm, collect yourself, collect yourself. And now I'm still crying. The story, the minutes are finished. I have to get back to read the second story. So that's why when I got back, my voice was a bit shaky. And um, wow, it was difficult, by the way. Now, according to police, Edward was driving to Entebbe along the Entebbe Expressway and was about to exit at Impala Toll Station when he suddenly lost control of his vehicle. <laughs> and when I continued reading, my I had not come down and so... It all came back, boom. And that is how I broke down on set. But it was very difficult. You know, someone you've been sitting with up close. I used to, I did some projects with him. You know, we were together in the field. And you know, at the time, I was still learning and getting into the newsroom system. So you find that most of the people that I'd go with to the field, the reporters were playing, you know, a big role in mentoring, teaching you here and there. And he was one of them. And I'm honored actually to have worked with him. Yeah, it was a tough time, but, uh, at least we got to share life and time with him. And when I got out of studio, I found myself trending on people's statuses. Yep. I, 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 I first saw it was a very close friend of mine. I saw my dress, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 to check, oh my God, yeah. oh my God, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, people were, were in this, you know, all of this together. And I must say, Edward was a people person. I saw this when it came to, you know, coming together as journalists to pay respects, to honor and, you know, to send him off. In his village? In his village. Even just mob the mobilizing, mobilization among his journalists was a very big lesson to many of us that no matter what you do, journalists are also somehow part of your life, actually in all means, because you spend most of your days with them out there. So be down to earth be friendly don't be full of yourself because these are the people at the end of the day we shall need and that is exactly what i saw that edward was a very good person and he had so many people out there that actually loved him yeah